Well, folks, today we got a lot of disasters, a lot of people are mad, and we have created this beautiful device. Uh, you can actually grab this device and give it to the people that you see that are being mad right now by just smashing that like button. But our first story coming in at our number 14 spot. Roll it. Only reason why I, I'm not playing this game, and I know a bunch of other people are not playing this game, is because we know that it's not worth it to get bullied endlessly and called transphobic endlessly in in, in when we have massive uh queer communities and audiences that's it everybody everybody knows everybody knows how much leftist mother love the chirp on the internet they got no power all they do is chirp 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 and that's precisely why so many people that would otherwise like play it maybe even raise money for uh you know charities or whatever um you know they're they're not doing it i knew that this was going to happen that's why i wanted to set it up ahead of time i got <laughs> yelled at uh endlessly and relentlessly uh on my alt account like they were making it seem like i was already transphobic for even thinking about this rise of the beta males ladies and gentlemen i mean damn bro it's a video game dog it's all happening because of a video game this shouldn't even be a topic of discussion but check this out at our number 13 spot ladies and gentlemen hide your wives hide your kids because apparently they made a website introducing have the stream that wizardgame.com and this website is as real as those ufos flying over your head okay i made a dedicated channel scary x for that content you can check it out after this one but ladies and gentlemen this got so out of hands that most out there making this website where you can search for a said streamer and you can actually find out that if they have streamed Hogwarts Legacy or not and if they have stream Hogwarts Legacy you can go ahead and actually cancel them okay Bruh. there must be a way for this to victimize me I also went ahead I tried being strong and independent ladies and gentlemen but I closely failed because I searched for my name and it said that uh, Skizzle X has not streamed that <laughs> that wizard game but let me remind you i did that on youtube.com okay ah! got him. i just cannot even compute this my brain started short circuiting but everybody gather on okay gather on gather on ladies and gentlemen this is why i always say don't chase that pom pom <laughs> Apparently on the other side, anti Hogwarts Legacy website tracking Twitch streamers playing closes down. Everybody, you know, this is what I love to see. This service has been suspended by its own. <laughs> It really looks like that they got double bumble clot in the situation and they actually had to take the website down because it backfired. Definitely shout out to the homies for smashing and also shout out to you. I can give you a shout out if you also smash a like button, you know what I'm saying? But apparently people that love Hogwarts Legacy, this is what they were caught doing. Roll it. Here you go. Ready? Yeah. Say it after me. Repeat after me. Okay. Nigga, please. <laughs> Nigga, please. Damn! <laughs> Serious. Serious. <laughs> and people in the chat just started taking x-rays they just cannot even compute the situation i mean god damn we also had low iq moments by xqc roll it let's give this one a try a carrot let's give this one a try a carrot bruh but speaking of that in real life fortnite event ladies and gentlemen the u.s military has retrieved that chinese spy balloon and this situation has been so wild that for a few days now a chinese spy balloons in fact we heard like there has been multiple chinese spy balloons I i'm not really entirely sure but u.s actually shot it down and now they're saying that they retrieved it and china responded by saying that they're kind of sad and they're kind of mad and they're saying that basically u.s shouldn't have shot down this spy balloon and I'm looking at this, my brain just, I, I just cannot compute it, right? My brain started short-circuiting after this one because we're talking about a Chinese spy balloon being in the airspace of US. You are coming in uninvited, okay? So what do you mean that they shot it down? Is China number one after this one? You let me know. But apparently we're hearing that The Last of Us Part 3 is being developed for the PlayStation 6. And a lot of people went into coma after this one. A lot of people are saying that I don't even have a PlayStation 5. And you're talking about PlayStation 6, ladies and gentlemen. They are indeed talking about it. They're saying that the rumor goes against a prior statement from Neil Druckmann. According to the leak.co, the source that broke the initial leak of the PS5 Slim is also responsible for 
for this information as well, the site speculates that The Last of Us Part 3 will most likely release on PS5, but given the lengthy development cycle for games nowadays, it could also launch on the, the PlayStation 6 as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man, absolutely. So another day, another rumor, okay? But this rumor is not far-fetched because I can also see this happening because Sony did confirm that the next PlayStation will not happen before 2027, and we are already in 2023. We have about like four or five years till we get to see the next PlayStation. And knowing the history of Naughty Dog, I wouldn't be surprised if the next Last of Us game gets announced in about like two or three years from now and ends up releasing in four or five years from now. And if that happens, it's surely gonna be coming out by the end of PlayStation 5 life cycle. And if that happens, we're surely also gonna be seeing it on PlayStation 6. J just quick maps, guys. Apparently, Activision reaffirms that a full premium Call of Duty release for 2023, and it is rumored to be by Sledgehammer Games, my balls, bruh, like... Activision officially said that they're working to amplify the success of the fourth quarter with 2023 plans including even more engaging live services across platforms and the next full annual premium release in the Blockbuster series. And a lot of people started coping after this one, a lot of people went into coma, and a lot of YouTubers, apparently strong, independent, they started doing helicopters with their release because previously we were hearing that we will not be having a brand new Call of Duty game, and a lot of people were looking at the Modern Warfare 2 situation, the current situation that's happening with it, there is no bap, there is no boom, there's no sauce, there's literally nothing happening. 3,000 dead! All of them, by the looks of it, they're standing there with thumbs up their asses, we are barely getting any content, and now we are hearing that there's probably gonna be a full annual premium release, and the rumor here is that it's gonna be made by Sledgehammer My Balls. A lot of people are speculating that is it isn't gonna be Van Garbage 2. And if that happens, I will become a monk and I will settle myself on a mountain in Tibet, guys. I just cannot even compute the thought and the possibility of us having Van Garbage 2, guys. I cannot do it, guys. But there are also rumors, I uh, shout out to the homie Marcus for adding me in the situation, but there are also rumors coming from Jason Schreier that it's gonna be a DLC for Modern Warfare 2 that's gonna be developed by Sledgehammer My Balls and Treyarch is gonna be doing a Black Ops 2 remake style game for next year. Activision is still persisting full annual premium release and Jason Schreier is saying that it's gonna be a $70 DLC <gasps> So is that's gonna be the full annual release premium Call of Duty game this year? We're gonna find out soon, okay? And I'll keep you in the loop, so definitely hit the bell. But in an interview on CNBC, Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick says that mobile continues to be the biggest gaming platform, okay? And this is what he said. The FTC EU and UK doesn't understand gaming and that Tencent, Sony, and Nintendo dominate the industry says regulators are confused about the industry. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh. W, w man w w w bobby the fact that this bucko says i don't understand and they are uh, confused that is just wild okay but in a way he does have a point yeah. because most people do have mobile and they do not have a sony pony they do not have an xbox console right so like these are kind of facts guys you know as sad as this might sound uh, these are kind of facts microsoft ceo satya nutella or i should say nadella my bad uh microsoft ceo latest comments on the activision blizzard acquisition says regulators should look at the broader industry to check competition and market share. Roll it. Activision Blizzard acquisition looks to be running into some real headwinds in the UK. Uh, how certain are you now compared to where you were that that's going to go through and, and how, how important is that to Microsoft? I, I, I saw that Bobby was on your network this morning and I thought he did a good job of explaining why he and I both are enthused about this combination because I think it will only bring more competitiveness uh, to the gaming industry. And look, I think I look at this and say at the end of the day, the regulators around the world have to make the choices. Uh, and I would only submit to them that if they really seriously think about competition, they have to sort of really reflect on is this going to be helpful to bring more competition? Right. Think about this. There are people who make more money in gaming who don't even build games today. Mm. Uh, like maybe we should look at that. Then even if you look at the console market, we should probably look at Microsoft's share of the console market in Japan as a perhaps a question that somebody should ask and say, oh, wow, I wonder why that is. That's small. Bruh. And maybe they should actually start competing more. So I hope that the regulators take an approach that is going to truly be beneficial to gamers, it's going to be beneficial to all publishers, Talks and make gamers. all of- Xbox begging and pleading just to get games on their platform. Lamau. Keep 
trying. That Japan argument just makes him sound desperate. We got more <laughs> out there with every piece of time on their hands saying that this here says everything Xbox had bad, bad, <laughs> bad management, bro. Like, get that thought, okay? <laughs> But also, apparently, over 100 PSVR 2 games are currently in development. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, bro, okay, that's cool and all, but can a brother perhaps just see one good game? PSVR 2 Sense controllers will not be sold separately. That's like a bumble clad move by the Sony out here. That's like 500 IQ. Because if you buy it and you break it, then you cannot buy it separately. You would have to buy the entire PSVR 2. So yeah, W moves by Sony, man. Dunking on the customers and milking their wallets, okay? We all love to see that. But also in the news, Take Two CEO admits that historic GTA 6 leaks affected devs emotionally and personally, and they actually talked about this during their live stream, or I should say, they, they actually talked about it before they live stream because during the live stream they were actually teasing with the beloved franchise. This is something they always like to say, but we never get those beloved franchises. But the fact that they officially talked about the GTA 6 gameplay leak that is wild. They basically said that they are strong and independent. Business-wise, uh, they're saying that GTA 6 gameplay leak didn't affect them business-wise, but it affected them emotionally and personally because we're talking about GTA 6 here, guys. Uh, it's one of those games that even the aliens have not seen. They did get the aliens involved to get that leaker locked up. They, they had the NASA involved. They had the FBI involved. Deadass FBI, they really did have FBI involved, though. That's, like, no cap. They also ended up talking about the remasters, and I made a dedicated video for this one. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because Dr. Dis Disrespect friend when bozo and this is something Activision will not like you seeing it check these videos out guys, and I will see you right there